Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be going over a few tips and tricks involving the Mod Organizer 2 profile management system. So let's say you've been playing on this profile for a while and you have this awesome level 50 character that you don't want to lose, but you see this amazing new mod on the Nexus that you just have to try out. Or you've installed a big Wabajack mod list and you like it, but you feel like there are just a few mods that you need to add or remove to make it perfect. In either case, you don't want to risk losing that profile and its saves, but there is a way to play around with new mods and keep your current playthrough safe. The most important rule of profile management is this. Don't ever make a change to a profile that you're not willing to destroy. Let me say that one more time. Don't ever make a change to a profile that you're not willing to destroy. So how do we accomplish this? Pretty simple, actually, but if you haven't been exposed to this kind of thing before, it may not have occurred to you. So step one, expand the profile dropdown and click Manage to bring up the Profiles dialog. Step two, select the profile that you wanted to make the change to. I suggest renaming the profile with a version number if it doesn't already have one, starting with 1.0. I also highly recommend checking Use Profile Specific Save Games and Use Profile Specific Game INI files here. This will keep all profiles more separated so you can goof around on one without breaking the other. Once your original profile is properly versioned and selected, click the Copy button. Okay, step three. Now we just have to enter a name for our new copy. Uh, I recommend using a similar name with an incremented version number. So for this one, I'm going to put base 1.3 and then just click OK. Uh, now we're just going to wait for the new profile to show up in the list. It might take a few minutes, um, depending on how many mods and how many saves were being managed under the original profile. But once we have it here, you can just click the close button to close the profiles dialog. Now, step four in the profile dropdown, select the new copy profile and mod away. If something goes horribly wrong, just select the original profile from the dropdown and you're good to play away. So now it's time for some gotchas. The first one involves FNIS. So if you've added or removed any mods that require FNIS for custom animations, you'll likely have to rerun the FNIS tool or characters in the game will be floating around in T-Pose as such. This is easy enough to do. Simply run the FNIS patcher tool from MO2 while the new profile is active. We're going to click the button to update FNIS behavior, and we're gonna wait for that to finish. And then once that's done, you can just click the exit button, and this should clear up any T-posing issues that you have in the game. As we can see, they are now fixed. Now, keep in mind, you'll also need to rerun the FNIS tool if and when you switch to another profile using different FNIS animation mods. The second gotcha on the list is generated data. So mods and tools that rely on generated data, such as all geared up derivative, log gen, and Dyndalod, will need to have their resources regenerated if you add mods that change landscape terrain or add weapons. When you regenerate these resources, have the tool output set to a new mod folder named with your current profile version number, as shown here. And once that mod is regenerated, all you need to do is come back to MO2, grab the new mod and drag it right up underneath the original one. And then you just want to activate that new mod, deactivate the old one, and that should be it. You should be good to go. Now these changes will follow the profile system. So once you set it, you can forget it. Every time you switch profiles now, the correct resources will be loaded for that profile. And that's it. If this helped with your game plan for MO2, please leave a like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. If you have any questions or if you want to point out something that I missed or got wrong, please leave me a comment below.